Here on the Amazon, there are also other kinds of fish that use perhaps the most extraordinary method of navigation of all. Living amongst this tangle of fallen trunks and branches of the flooded forest, they find their ways about not by touch or by smell or by sight or even by echolocation, but by electricity. And I can fish for them using a device like this. When I turn it on, it emits a stream of electronic pulses from either end, which these fish, with their extreme sensitivity to electricity, should find irresistible. Let's see. And here they are, within seconds, electric eels six feet long. They can discharge massive electric shocks which can stun and even kill their prey. But they also generate continuous low voltage signals that enable them to visualize their surroundings and even maybe to recognize one another. So they're very interested in my version. The electric field they create around themselves is distorted by any object in the water and they detect these changes with a line of sensory cells along their flanks. So for the dark places as well as the dark hours, animals have developed a variety of techniques for finding their way around. But for many, the time of activity is not during darkness but during the light. <laughs> 